This is my story. My story is that I'm a hoarder. And some of the rooms in my house are hoarded like this one. This room has just become a catch-all. Once it was a baby's nursery and a toddler's room. And then my oldest went into another room. And then it was a nursery again for my youngest son. And it was also a toddler room for a small time. Obviously, my son, none of my sons have been in this room for about well over a year now. It's just become a catch-all of toys and clutter and stuff that I don't even know what on earth is in there anymore. And I want to clean it up. I don't want to live like this. This is shameful and embarrassing and it's almost teaching my kids that it's okay to have all this stuff and just cluttered in a room where they can't even go in and function in. I, I don't even know what is in here. I know some of the stuff that's in here, some of the toys, some of the things, but it's not being played with or touched with because they don't even go in here. They can't get in here. Even if they wanted to, they can't get in here that far. And this is a story that I'm going to change and I'm calling it a hoarder's heart because while a lot of you are probably looking at this and thinking this girl is gross, this girl's disgusting and messy and lazy and all of these awful things, I'm actually none of those things. I'm actually a hard worker and happy and outgoing and far from lazy. I don't stop moving. The only problem is that my brain doesn't know how to organize a lot of stuff. I can organize a lot of stuff in school or in work and have the kids organized for their stuff. But when it comes to making decisions on personal items and things like this, their memories and their toys and their clothes, I sometimes struggle. Now, I'm going to show you that my whole house is not hoarded so that no one tries and figures out who I am and call someone to take my kids, I could show you that, well, there's a toy right there. But look, my hallway's fine. And the room that the boys do go into is right here. And sure, there's stuff and clutter and stuff in here as well. But for the most part, it's clean. The bed's not made. The floor could really do a good scrubbing with mop and glow, but it's a cleared off floor. So their bed's not made, but this is where they sleep and this is where they can play and stuff like that. So I have the capability of keeping rooms clean and some of my rooms are clean, but as I continue to, with every year or get older or whatever, this is starting to appear. The mess, the catch-all, the not making decisions with stuff. Um, my kids not being able to make decisions with stuff. So... I have this idea on my heart that I wanted to share with everyone that I'm going to go and clean this up step by step and tell you how I feel and the struggles, the anxiety, uh, how I struggle to make decisions, how I don't know what to do with items and how to part with them. And I'm going to explain how my brain thinks and operates as a hoarder. And by doing that, my goal is to be able to fill my journey of cleaning up and making these decisions so that people who have loved ones that are hoard and you don't understand why we do it, I'm explaining my heart to you, which is in the name, Hoarder's Heart. I'm explaining why I can't make decisions on all of this stuff or what to do with it. And maybe another hoarder will be like, hey, this girl gets me and she's doing it. She's cleaning up. She's sorting. She can do this. That means I can do this as well and be a voice for those people. So that is my goal. Uh, this is my first video. Um, yeah, this is my first video. And each day I will try and um, 
go through the stuff and tell you how my brain works. And hopefully the goal for this room, the goal for this room is to make it a completely functioning playroom. Organized where the kids can go back in and hopefully I can sell some of the items that are brand new because there are brand new items in here that have never been opened and I can be a success as a hoarder. So thank you so much for tuning in and um, see you next time.